weekly Tick Tock Pollywog Pop 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 General Kozu was the four-armed leader of the Stone Army, an ancient tribe of indestructible warriors buried deep within the land of Ninjago. Like the other Stone Warriors, Kozu was on the front line during the original battle for the land, and fought for the Overlord against the likes of the first Pinjutsu Master. After the original battle, Kozu and his Stone Warriors were buried, but they would eventually emerge again. After the Great Devourer was destroyed, its toxic venom seeped through the earth and eventually made contact with the dormant tribe of Stone Warriors. Coincidentally, the Serpentine happened to be visiting the tomb at that same time, and that led to a brief battle between the two groups of antagonists. However, However, General Kozu and the other Stone Warriors were able to overpower the Serpentine and escape their longtime prison. As a character himself, Kozu is a very commanding commander and is very expressive. In fact, he is the only Stone Warrior capable of speaking English and communicating with those outside of his own kind. Because of his very useful skill, he was often used as the translator for Garmadon to talk to the rest of the Stone Warriors. Speaking of Garmadon, Kozu held a very strong relationship with both him and the Dark Lord. Able to control the Stone Warriors via the Helmet of Shadows, Garmadon pretty much shared a psychic link with the entire Stone Army. As a fighter, the forearms definitely give Kozu a tactical advantage. He's able to effectively wield and use four butterfly swords at the same time. He's also taken on many different warriors of light during his time as well. For example, he fought against Sensei Wu, but was unfortunately defeated. But that doesn't mean he's a terrible battler. Again, his leadership skills and battle strategies suggest otherwise. As a character though, General Kozu is definitely lacking. Because of the consistency between all the other stone warriors, they don't really show enough personality on their own. Kozu shows a little bit more personality and charisma than the rest of his fellow stone warriors, but when compared to other villains from Ninjago's lineup, he's one of the weakest links out there. After the Overlord was defeated, he and the rest of the Stone Warriors disappeared, never to be seen again. However, like many of the other villains, we saw General Kozu return in Day of the Departed, and he appropriately went up against Dareth Puffs, but was quickly defeated somehow. Overall, though, General Kozu is a great leader, but is not individual enough to be very memorable. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If General Kozu is your favorite Ninjago villain, please leave a comment with the hashtag VoteKozu Incorporated somehow. This will be very useful for a video I'm currently working on that will be uploaded as soon as possible. Besides that, though, if you enjoyed, feel free to give this video a thumbs up operating and click that subscribe button guys it really means a lot to me also remember that the comment section is open for any discussions you want to have or if you just had a general comment that's fine too also be sure to leave your video suggestions down below as well for a chance to have your idea featured as an actual video sometime later on thank you so much for watching guys my name is tanner fishies and with that i bid you farewell